chronic lymphocytic leukemia is one of the most common adult leukemia in the United States. Um, it occurs about 20,000 uh, cases every year. In the last couple of years, there's a lot of development of newer therapy for CLL patients, in particular for the patients who require the first time treatment, that there's a lot of newer development showing the newer therapy has been really surpassing the traditional therapy like a chemotherapy. And Mayo Clinic had participated in a major role. And Mayo Clinic investigator had led one of the major study, which published in New England Journal of Medicine in 2019, and also actively participated in another study, which also published in New England Journal of Medicine in late 2018. So collectively, those two studies have shown novel agents such as Bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor abrutinib in combination maybe with anti-CD20 antibody really led to better response and better efficacy compared to traditional chemotherapy. Now, chemotherapy only reserved for a very small portion of CLL patients who generally is young, have IgVH mutated status that could still benefit from FCR type of chemotherapy. Those traditional chemotherapy for younger patients could be fludarabine, cytoxin, and rituximab in a brief name called FCR. For elderly patients older than 70 year old, that could be bendamustine and rituximab, such as BR. So abrutinib containing therapy really have been shown more superior than chemotherapy, better progression-free survival, and potentially over survival in comparison with chemotherapy. This really led to practice change for frontline CLO therapy.